the entire Strathmore faculty, all protocols observed, families and friends who are here to celebrate with us, my fellow graduates from PMD and the rest of the programs. Good morning, everyone. As you've heard, I'm here on behalf of our president who was not able to make it. So the so-called written speech has been scribbled in the last five minutes. So in case I don't have it straight, I already have your forgiveness, right? Thank you. So first and foremost, I'd like to thank our Heavenly Father for this opportunity. It's not something that we can take for granted. I believe there are so many people who would have loved to be in the PMD class or to be in any other program, but for one reason or the other, they couldn't. But God gave us the chance, so thank you, God. I would also like to thank our families and our friends. The support, because it takes a lot of uh, absentia from our normal life to dedicate and to be in the classes, regardless of the program. So we'd like to appreciate them. I'd also like to thank our unsung heroes. Many other times we jump up and down and celebrate and thank the faculty, and you do a good job. But we forget those that usher us in. We forget those that clean, us, clean up after us, both here at home and in the offices. They are our support system. So even, even if they're not here with us, we'd like to thank them. I'd also like to thank our faculty and specifically Dr. Ngoe and his team who are the leaders of this program. To be honest, what we received, if we were to put a mathematical formula on it, outweighs even what we pay for. The knowledge, the tools and techniques, and even the strength that you encourage us to have. As PMD students, we are not really junior, but we are neither seniors. In the respective organizations you've served, as you've had, we've had promotions. Why? Because we were in levels that, for the, for the purposes of this speech, I would say they are mid-level management. And I have to say that this is the most difficult level to be in. Because you are not really the decision makers, you're the decision implementers. And in some times, you challenge these decisions, but you challenge them seated silently until you attend the PMD class. And you realize that those that are microwaved already and are in the front seat, where are you going to go? Because that's the farthest you can go. We who are behind are the people who are going to come in front. So we have to have the strength and the courage to not only make the right decisions, but to stand by them. And that has been hammered over and over again by Dr. Ngoe and his class. Thank you so much. To my fellow classmates, it's been a journey. It may be short, just a few months, because we started in February, but it's been a journey. And it's very evident how much we have evolved and, trans and transformed in the process of this course. I must mention some of them, such as getting to know each other, warming up, sharing ideas, the, the immersion that we did in South Africa. We learned a lot, not just in the corporate world, but in, even in the cultural immersion. I would like to pose a challenge to us. We also have societies of that nature in our very countries in Kenya and Uganda. So what are we going to do about it? So that whatever we have learned and we've been given, we can, always, we can also go back and give it to the society. Individually and also as a team. I'd like to challenge us that we don't end this here. We don't end the celebration here. But we celebrate every time we look behind and see somebody that we have uplifted in your organization, in your home setup, and everywhere else you go. I'd like to challenge us that the next time we're in Strathmore, we are somewhere in this front seat. I met a very wise lady here at Strathmore. She was not a member of the faculty, and it is very unusual for me to just openly network, but I challenged myself. And she posed a challenge to me. 
And it's good that we are headed to Christmas. We have a whole month of meditating upon it. So that when you're coming in 2023 and making your personal strategy, you may implement the three C's. And the three C's is what that you have to check yourself and make sure you don't do. The three C's are do not complain. Do not criticize and do not condemn. Why am I telling you this? I've listened to speaker after speaker after speaker. And every time they talk about the way the world is today, the global economy that is in crisis, the war in Ukraine, the hunger and the famine in our country, the broken system that we see in some sectors. And all I could hear, and I couldn't help it, is feel a little bit pressure. Because again, as a PMD graduate, I know I am at the entry level of senior management. So I couldn't help but feel a little bit of pressure because it is upon us to help and do whatever that we can. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, from the PMD class. We are at a, a point that our chances of failure are actually higher than success because we're in a very unprecedented era for our generation. The senior leaders are talking about calamities that may have been there before. We were only kids, if at all we existed. So this is our first area, or our first era, of facing this high kind of crisis. So I couldn't help but feel the pressure. And when I did a little bit of math, the odds are against us. But guess what? PMD course has given us what it takes to beat the odds and come out successful. In our own little ways, in our own little sections, it has given us that. So, using the three C's, when you're faced with those challenges, refrain from them and look, at, look for the opportunity around you to thrive and where you can't thrive, survive. And now, finally to all graduates, the same wise lady told me that to whom much is given, much is expected. Receive the certificate and celebrate. Go celebrate. But remember, that information and knowledge is useless if it remains in that folder. Do something about it. And together, we will thrive. We will be back after a number of generations. And we will be giving stories of the calamities that happened and that we conquered. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.